In this video, I want to show you the import and export manager of ETHOS. Welcome back to our series of ETHOS tutorials. Today, I want to show you the import and export manager of ETHOS. So with this, you can easily download data from the device and import it into your system and as well take data from your system back to ETHOS. So this is also very helpful for software updates. Now we want to look at the visualization of ETHOS. We need to go to settings and go to the export window here. And here we can find all different kinds of files and file types. So first of all, top up is the system image. This is the most important file. This is a full picture of your device. You download it with history and then you have all the necessary settings, all the historic data, everything that is interesting uh, for that system. You can also include the logic editor if you're using one. Now other files you can find in the list are for example CSV files. These are um, tab tabular files like tables that can mainly be used for documentational purpose. So there's for example a parameter list. This is the full list of parameters that are set in this specific unit. These files cannot be imported back into your system. Um, another file would be the event memory with all the events that have come and gone on that system. The event list is on the other hand just a list of all the possible events on that ethos. Other files, zip files like the operating instructions or the SCADA configuration, they typically hold PDF files and other related documents um, that give you further explanations. Um, if we move down here in the list you can find a settings.rhi file here. This is a very practical file if you want to transfer settings from one unit to another or also keep them as a backup somewhere in your local storage. There are plenty more files um, in the download in the export section but now we quickly want to look at the import. So we go back to settings and click on import and here we can find two ways of importing now we can import from a USB flash drive or from our local computer, depending what we're using. Um, by the way, this is also possible for the export for sure. You can export to a USB flash drive or to your computer. You can select that during the process. For the import, there is a few things we need to take, um, we need to keep in mind. The serial number of that ETHOS allows us only to import software from that ETHOS into that unit. So a system image or a software update will only work on the proper unit that it is made for. On the other hand, a settings file, for example, I can easily import from one to another unit. I can move the settings from one ETHOS to another. Other files that can be imported are uh, the SCADA related files, so for some reasons uh, you might need to modify 61850 for example, you need to modify your, your SCADA files and then you can re-import these as well. So keep in mind the serial number lock for certain files during the import process. This is all tested or checked during the process uh, in the software um, and that's basically it.